catchy tune, huh? It's a melody toys just can't resist. of spellbound trances. Mr. Heebie-Jeebies himself, otherwise known as the Toy Taker. up in arms. Well, that toy taker nearly ruined Christmas for everyone. Why, if it weren't for Christmas Town's favorite reindeer son, who knows what might have... <laughs> now, you didn't think Rudolph's story ended that foggy Christmas Eve, did you? As we say in the North Pole, that was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Oop, almost forgot to introduce myself. Name's Scoop T. Snowman, ace reporter for the Christmas Town Chronicle the North Pole's best-selling newspaper. North Pole's only newspaper. <laughs> yes, sir, I've got a nose for news. Ain't it a beaut? Big hit at barbecues, too. Of course, around here, no nose compares to Rudolph's. In fact, yours truly broke the big story of how Rudolph and his friends triumphed over that mean old toy taker and saved Christmas for everyone. It wasn't that long ago, in fact. It all started at the Christmas parade. And the one, and the two, and the three! You know Dasher, and Dancer, and Prancer, and Vixen, Comet, and Cupid, and Donna, and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph Joining any reindeer games Then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say Rudolph, with your nose so bright Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? <laughs> then how the reindeer loved him As they shouted out with glee Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in history
<laughs> Rudolph, will you do the honors? My pleasure, Santa. Elves and reveling reindeer. What a shindig! Tragic. Try the Christmas Town Snowball. First castle on your left. <laughs> Matter of fact, only castle on your left. So, uh, how about a flying lesson tomorrow, Clarice? Really? I mean, you're not too busy being so famous and all. Well, you want to earn your wings, don't you?
<laughs> you sure are popular, Rudolph. Oh, popular? Actually, he's the most famous reindeer of them all. Famous? Why, he's a legend! <laughs> Everybody, a toast to our true blue bosom buddy, Rudolph! <laughs> Got one word for you, my friend. Dentures. Well and all, but the truth is, I never did anything to deserve it. And he's modest, too. All I ever wanted was... Blow your nose, Rudolph. To be like everybody else. Come on, champ. Let's see the trick with the disco ball. Right, right. Disco ball! act around here. Hermie the Elf, DDS? At your service. King Moon Racer's got a royal toothache. Can you come to the Island of Misfit Toys? You bet. Need an assistant, Hermie? What a pal. What now, Hermie? Behold, the wonders of the Toothmobile. My all-terrain mobile dental facility. Friends journey to the island of misfit toys for a dental house call to tend to the ailing King Moonracer. You're scary. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out why I'm a misfit toy. The awful truth? I'm afraid of heights. Ain't it tragic? Actually, Rudolph and I used to be misfits too. Yeah, yanking my tail. Except I'm still a misfit. But you're a celebrity. So what? I'd give anything for a normal nose. Poor guy. How tragic. Keep your chin up, keep your shoulders back, and face the world with pride. So what if you're a little bit different? You're still bona fide. Stick your nose out, hold your antlers high, enjoy the world you see. So what if you're a little bit funny? Hey, you still got me. We're just a little bit, oh, just a little. We stand out from the rest. Golly, but I just don't fit. Hey, don't even think of it. Not even for a little bit. The situation's delicate, we'll find a fit. You're such a wit. And you're a major benefit. Oh! So keep your chin up, keep your shoulders back, and face the world with pride. So what if we're both kind of loony? So what if we're both kind of toony? So what if we're both kind of spoony? Spoony, toony, loony. We're just fine. Hey, I'm not just a dental elf. You're a monumental elf. We're happy as can be. I'm John and Elf. In a hole, I'll pull you out. You're the coolest of the cool. Remember, Elves and reindeer rule. You think that's true? I do, don't you? Just look at all the things we do. Oh, really? So keep your eyes bright. Take a real deep breath and hold your head up high. Remember, don't ever feel crummy, because I am your personal chummy. We're really remarkably plummy. Yes, plummy. Not glummy. Oh, chummy. 
perfectly fine. I never made a big deal out of your nose, did I? Just like I never made a big deal about you wanting to be a dentist. Exactly. So who cares what other people think? We are who we are, right? Oh, I guess. Here we are, the island of misfit toys. <laughs> thing is, they forgot to give me a slot. <laughs> Hear that? Nothing. I'm all empty inside. I need change. You think you've got problems, mate? I'm the boomerang that doesn't come back. <laughs> Ain't it tragic? Right this way, Your Majesty. Now, let's have a look-see at those pearly white, um, fangs, shall we? Mm -mm. Tut, tut, tut. Nothing to fear, Your Highness. I'm a professional. Open wide, please. Wider. Wider. Oh, my. Hmm. That hurt. Uh uh. That. Uh uh. How about. <laughs> Was that a yes or a no? Uh, please, don't tell me I need a root canal. You need a root canal. I told you not to tell me that. Don't worry, sire. This won't hurt a bit. Mom. <laughs> Ok. 
can't be too careful with this toy taker on the loose. Alert me at the first sign of trouble, boys. As soon as Santa and all his elves and reindeer were tucked in and fast asleep, it happened. The unthinkable. Ahead. Maybe we should turn back. I'd kinda hate to miss my date with Clarice. And that doe certainly has you head over hooves, doesn't she? Who told you? Everyone in Christmas Town knows. They do? Haven't you told each other? Well, not in so many words. <laughs> Last I counted, it was just three. Oh, I've tried, Hermie, but the words won't come. I know what you mean. It was graduation day at the Elf Academy of Dental Arts. Congratulations, Hermie! Crush on the Tooth Fairy? And her teeth are perfect. Uh-oh. Then it hit. The North Pole unfurled its fiercest frozen fury. Yes, sir. It was the kind of storm that swallows ships whole. And Rudolph and Hermie were caught smack dab in the thick of it. <laughs>
Trespass on Castaway Cove. Hmm. Well, uh, we were shipwrecked and lies, lies, lies. Just because Camilla is beautiful, don't mean she's one sandwich short of picnic, darling. You come to steal Camilla's fabulous toys. Confess us. Why would we silence before I mount you over that mantle, lickety split, guard? Throw them in the dungeon for 300 years. Huh? Hey? No. Um, but he's a dentist. And, and he's a beloved holiday icon. Get him, boys! <laughs> What's it, boys? He's got a toothbrush. And I know how to use it, too. <laughs> He's got a very shiny nose. <gasps> it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oy, 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 oy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rudy, darling, you're looking pretty fabulous. <coughs> Sorry for all that rough stuff, darling. We thought you were the toy taker. Us? The toy taker? But let's not dwell on the past, Caribou. It's not attractive. Welcome to my fabulous castle, darlings. When toys get old or broken and would otherwise be cast away, Queen Camilla brings them to Castaway Cove for rest, relaxation, and rejuvenation. Come, darling. I give you a five penny tour, yes? Oh, darling, bring me your tired toys, your poor toys, your toys yearning to breathe free. Hey, boys, bring me your dollies. Hey, boys, bring them to me. Hey, boys, it'll be jolly. I can fix them with my TLC. Uh. Hey, boys, bring me your patience. Dr. C is in the house. I got the cure for what ails you. Be you moose or be you mouse, because everything. Makes you stick around all night. A little varnish here, a little garnish there, a little clip, clip, clip. Put your hair, a little dab of paint, apply with loving care. And I'll prepare yourself one there. If there's a boo boo on your choo choo train, we'll make the woo 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 whistle again. We can fix it all, we do it every day. So rock on, boys, just let the band play. Go! You 
run a very fine establishment, Your Majesty. It's beautiful. The only problem is what to do with all those toys after Camilla makes them so beautiful and fabulous. Maybe Santa can find them homes, just like he does for King Moonracer. You do this for me? I do something for you. What is your fondest desire, darlings? Well, um, he wants a normal nose. And he wants a date with the Tooth Fairy. Nose job Camilla can do. You mean, you can give me a normal nose? You're kidding me, Sugar Plum. Nobody knows noses like Queen Camilla. Before. Fabulous, no? Oh, it's the nose I've always dreamed of. Of course it is, darling. Say that word and it's yours. Lickety split. Yes! Take care, Boo, to operating room number two. You realize a nose job is permanent. Your nose won't ever glow again. I've waited my whole life for this chance, Hermie. But what if it's another foggy Christmas Eve? Santa can't afford headlights, darling? What if Clarice doesn't like the new nose? Uh, maybe I need some time to think it over. Take all the time you want, Sugar Plum. Rudolph promised to tell Santa all about Castaway Cove. And by morning, Queen Camilla's staff repaired the Toothmobile better than new. But on the journey back to Christmastown, Rudolph had his mind set on how a new, less shiny nose might change his life for the better. And what do you know, he made it home just in time to keep his date with Clarice. Remember, build up speed and then Jump into the wind. Ready, set, go. <laughs> hey, whoa. Huh? was in my eyes. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Again? Now that I'm all warmed up, why not? Clarice, have a little faith in yourself. And I wanted to impress you so badly. Impress me? I'm so ordinary, and you're so famous. I won't be so famous after I get my nose fixed, and I'll be normal, like everyone else. But Rudolph... And I'll finally fit in, and, and, and we can be happy, and... I love your nose, and everything about you. You do? Mm-hmm. And, and, well, you know how I feel, don't you? Do I? I mean, everyone in Christmas Town knows. So obvious. Tell me, anyway. Well... Oh, <laughs> 
better come to the castle, you two. Something wrong, Coach Comet? Wrong? I'll say. Santa's warehouse was robbed. I should have guarded the toys myself. Oh, Papa, you mustn't blame yourself. He took every single toy we made. And even the toys guarding the toys! So we'll make new toys? We can't make up for a year's work in three days! There's just not enough time! I'm afraid it's going to be a toyless Christmas this year. Only if we give up. Rudolph's got a plan, right? Right. What's the plan, champ? Well, um, what if we catch the toy taker and get the toys back by Christmas? But by golly, how does one catch such a slippery scoundrel? Well, you got me. Oh, someone must have seen something last night. I did. What did you see, Hank? I was up late reading last night, and I saw, well, it looked like a giant flying football. I thought I was just seeing things. I think Hank saw a blimp. Great! Bouncing icebergs! That's how he absconded with our toys. Papa, why don't we look for clues? To the scene of the crime! You again! Actually, I'm a dentist now. Dentist Mentris! You no account rebel! You left my staff one elf short! You better be nice. One of these days, you'll need a dentist, and I'm the only one around. I wouldn't let you touch my choppers with a ten-foot pole, you, you tooth maniac! I found something. Why, that's just toy stumpy! <laughs> oh, it's stuffing all right. We stopped using this kind years ago. Footprints? Hmm. How peculiar. And so Santa divided every elf, reindeer, and forest creature into search parties. Their mission? to find the toy taker by Christmas. He had precious little time to get the job done. The pins mark the toy taker's path of mayhem and plunder. He sure gets around, doesn't he? He hasn't been here or here. Castaway Cove and the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> Out of business? What happened? There's not a peck of pepper or morsel of mint left in that stinky old peppermint mine. Me and Bumble mined it clean. How about helping us catch the toy taker? There won't be any toys for Christmas unless we find him. Well, what are we waiting for? Wahoo! Mush! Come on! Mush! No brother. <laughs> Welcome to 
your new home. Well, what was wrong with our old homes? Well, they were infested with children. <laughs> but we love children. And children may love toys at first, but it's a fickle love that never lasts. Hold on one cotton pick a minute. I used to live on the island of misfit toys until Santa found me a home of my own. That was the happiest day of my life. Take me back. My little Sarah needs me. Please, Mr. Toy Taker, let me go home too. A toy is never truly happy until it is loved by a child. Well, the truth is that children always outgrow you. And when they stop needing you, have mercy. They'll toss you aside like yesterday's trash. Oh, <laughs> Not my little girl. <laughs> Charlie in the box. Think of how lonely life must be when a child stops needing you. But I'll always take care of you. Wait a minute. I read about you in the papers. You're not our friend, you're a crook! You think I mean and a nasty fiend cause I'm known for stealing lots of toys. But close your ear to those things you hear. They're lies from sniggly girls and boys. Cause they might flatter you on Christmas Day. But sooner or later they will grow away. And they'll leave you behind when they go out to play. No, they won't take you. They won't take you. But I am a wonderful guy. Never treat a toy the way those children do And though you may not want to go The toy taker, that's me, will take care of you And you, and you, and you, and you, and you A brand new toy full of pride and joy At first, we'll have a primo time but then some kid drops you on your lid and poof, you're gone before your time. A broken nose, that's the way it goes. A missing wheel, think of how you will feel when your paint peels off and you start to cough. <coughs> will they ever know? But I, I'm a heck of a guy. Treat you with respect until my face turns blue And yes, I am filled with finesse The toy taker, who else, will take care of you And you, I'm a really peaceful fellow At heart I'm soft as cello My modus operandi is influenced by gum dye. So cheer, cause the toy taker's here. You'll never be discarded or get thrown away. I swear, what I'm saying is true. The toy taker, it's me, will take care of you. And you. took all my beautiful toys. <gasps> I feel so unfabulous. I'm sorry we came too late, Queen Camilla. Don't worry, we're gonna catch that crook. And get all the toys back, too. Their last hope was the island of misfit toys. Maybe, just maybe, he still had a chance to catch the toy taker at his own game. We believe the toy taker plans to strike here next, your majesty. But this time, we'll be waiting for him. And we'll give that horrible hooligan what fur? No, Cornelius. We won't even try to stop him. Rudolph has a plan. 
Don't you, Rudolph? But I can't take you with me. You're too enormous. <laughs> <laughs> child at the mall. <laughs> well, a very big child. <laughs> now, even though Bumbles aren't exactly the smartest of creatures, a domesticated Bumble is fiercely loyal. That abominable snowman knew his friends needed him. By hook or by crook, Bumble had to catch up with that blimp. Somehow. <laughs> Of course, it's a well-documented fact. Bumbles are notorious sinkers. Poor Bumble didn't make it. Don't worry, Missy, he'll catch up. Bumbles always bounce back. If my hunch is right, the toy ticker will lead us right to the missing toys. Oh, Rudolph, look at them. They're in some kind of trance. The toy ticker's fruit must pack some kind of hocus pocus boo no power. Don't worry, Mr. Kite. We're here to rescue you. And proud! Not so loud! You're not toys. We're friends of Santa. And we want his toys back. Surrender, ya hooligan! We got you surrounded. <laughs> Do you? Sorry you can't stay for the holidays. Ta-ta!
Our friend Yukon Cornelius is done for. Or is he? Paws <laughs> <laughs> off, you yuckety yeti! <laughs> We're losing altitude! Try to save the misfits! Aye, aye, Captain. We've got a date with the toy taker! Let's go! <laughs> Keep that light away from me! Rudolph! He's scared of your light! Keep it glowing! <laughs> Hermie, your pilot speaking. No need to panic. Everything's under control. Let's go! Help! <laughs> Big time vertigo! Ha <laughs> ha 
It means you give up. No! <laughs> I had me some rope. Will dental floss do? It just might, dentist. Waxed or unwaxed? Mm, waxed. Mint or cherry? Oh, just give me that! Hop on, you Yukon! Time for some reindeer rodeo! Well done, all of you. Do you have any idea how much trouble you caused? Let's see who he really is. <laughs> well, I'll be. Pay no attention to the teddy bear behind the cloak. I am the toy taker. Fear me! Just a teddy bear on stilts. Won't anyone fear me? Please? Oh, oh what's the use? Oh. Ooh, ooh. Look, he's hurt. Huh? Oh. You've lost a lot of stuffing, son. I'm a very old teddy bear, Santa. And my seams just aren't holding up the way they used to. So the stuffing in the warehouse was yours. And the peculiar footprints were from the stilts. But why would a teddy bear steal toys? Not steal, Rudolph. Rescue. You see, my real name is Mr. Cuddles. My story begins a long, long time ago. a bear wrapped in beautiful paper I found myself under a tree and Christmas Day came that's when I met my best friend his very first present was me and Stephen played with me all day long he'd sleep with me tight in his arms he'd tell me stories and sing me songs Oh my, what a glorious time But not for long Stephen was growing up day after day And he didn't have time for his friend I moved from the bed to a chair to a closet And I knew it must be the end I stayed for years in a cardboard box Till one day the garbage man came They threw me out, yes they threw me out Without any reason or rhyme I was ashamed Oh, I still remember my Stephen I missed him for so long If I could only be with him again That's where I still belong And so I became the toy taker to spare other toys from the eternal darkness of cardboard boxes and the harrowing indignity of the trash heap. <laughs> oh, poor darling. Mr. Cuddles, 
While it's true that many children outgrow their toys, I happen to know that your boy's been looking for you. He has? Really? I'll gladly take you home to him. And I bet Queen Camilla can mend those seams. Good idea, Hermie. flew Mr. Cuddles to Castaway Cove, where Queen Camilla personally supervised his makeover. Feeling better, darling. Much. And what about you, Caribou? Still want that nose job? you guide my sleigh tonight? I think maybe I'll just stick with the nose I have. I don't always like it, but well, I guess we kind of sort of go together. Are you mad? I wouldn't change a thing about you, Rudy, darling. You're pretty fabulous just the way you are. Well, maybe Rudolph realized that everything he ever wanted was right under his nose the whole time. And when Mr. Cuddles returned all the toys and the elves packed Santa's sleigh, everyone knew deep in their hearts it was going to be the best Christmas ever. It's going to be the best Christmas ever. It's going to be the finest Christmas ever. Could it be a better Christmas? Never! There won't be one like today. Everything will be fine and dandy. Better keep your hungry tummy handy. Gonna let you fill it up with candy. Cause on Christmas it's okay. When everybody comes together round the big old tree, we'll hang the tinsel, string the lights, and laugh so merrily. It's gonna be the best Christmas ever. It's gonna be the superest Christmas ever. It's gonna be the happiest Christmas ever. on me. Merry Christmas. And wouldn't you know it, courtesy of Queen Camilla, Hermie received a special visitor. Oh. The Tooth Fairy. Yoo-hoo! Hermie the Elf, DDS. Why, I'm Hermie the Elf, DDS. Ready for our date? Sugar. <laughs> Stephen never meant to throw you away. 
He was saving you as a family heirloom. He's all grown up now with a child of his own. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names they never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. They shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. One needs to see their dentist. Enough with the gloating! Open wide now. This won't hurt a bit. Good. 